Hello. Hello, you are the experts. In this video, we will see about the any feature called uh, external context. Uh, basically, external content in UiPath apps. How can we get a data from the outside through URL? Okay, let us see. So, if you call the uh, the UiPath app URL from outside, like so, from any mobile app or UiPath, so Java, Java script or anything like a any URL. So while you are calling the URL, how can you send the data from outside to the inside of the UI path and utilize that data? Let us see now. So I'm just creating the an UI path app, like a uh, Indigo. Let us see. So what we will do, so we'll just take the blank process and here I'm just creating a, a, a simply label let us increase the font for the label to the a bigger one okay so now what we can do so we can just bind the data from here uh, or uh, let us create an and variable okay customer name the customer name I'm just dragging. The customer name does not have anything right right now. So the, there's no uh, customer name here. Okay, uh, that's why. So if I just use the preview, so it will show empty. So it's not doing anything. It's okay. So what we will do? So we just use a welcome customer name. So what we can do? We can just use a something like a combine concat concat of concatenation is like a, so it is a using the plus how you're concatenating right welcome mr something like that okay so and then use this customer name so right now the customer name is not there so it is a just simply display the welcome mr dot right now we will send the value to this customer from outside how can we get before doing that so keep in mind you have to publish the bot publish the uipath app once you publish the uipath app if you go to the settings, you can see the a, a URL of the productions, production URL. Copy that and uh, use a notepad to paste. This is a URL, okay? So what you have to do, so from the ending, so this is actual URL. For example, if you want to send a variables, so to the inside of the variables, so values to the inside of the variables, you can use a slash, question mark, and the variable name. So what is the variable name? The variable name is... Uh, customer name right so you can use a customer name is equal to right so this is a url so so once uh, i use this url just use a, this url so it will automatically creates like a so the variable the value so from the values are coming from the url okay so let us see um for example uh, let us create a one notepad input type is equal to text uh, or or basically anything like it for example open excel open excel uh, first name last name well, url okay so here so Right, so we have a this thing also. You have you need the full name. So what we can do is so we can just use the URL here. The URL is this one. For this, so we can use a hyperlink. Hyperlink of this, and at the end this and open the. So which one you have to open? So the open. Open with empty. Let us.
open new ipad app instead of hari krishna so we can give the uh, here so we can we can use instead of the customer name we just uh, go here our app and uh, uh, create a instead of customer name is a first name and last name the first name this is drag and drop the first name here and after that give us some space again give the last name okay so this is a uh, uh, just publish from here you can use a first name uh, after question mark what is the first name the first name is ampersand a and we are sending uh, we are sending with the ampersand so basically the ampersand last name is equal to again ampersand b2 okay that's it so if we just oh, expand this uh, copy to the all okay so if i just open this one so you sudhir so nimgada okay it will open the welcome to welcome mr sudhir nimgada okay in excel if i open this one so rajesh baljepalli so it is giving a rajesh baljepalli so that is a, a beauty of your ipad apps uh, uh, external content get the content from the outside thank you very much